What's up players, it's Octo, and today I'm going to show you how to add uh, potion effects to players in Minecraft using the uh, Bucket Spigot plugins in their API. So, I mean, this one is probably going to be a little short too, but I'll go over a few of the examples to kind of flesh it out. Uh, most of this will be uh, looking up IDs and stuff like that on your own, like what potions do what. Uh, you can find that on the Minecraft wiki, but I'm going to show you the commands here, I'm sorry, the, uh, the code here. So let's go ahead and jump right into it, bring up our Eclipse, and I'm in Hello World 2, of course. Uh, we're going to do a on join effect right off the bat. So we're going to make some space here at the bottom of the on player join, so after they get their golden sword, they're also going to be protected with some invisibility for a little while. Alright, so... Uh, we're going to have to get the player, and we're going to have to, uh, let's see here, add the potion effect. There we go, yeah. And I believe you have to create a new potion effect inside of the uh, parentheses there. Yep, perfect. And we're going to have to import some things here in a second. Uh, so this is really complex, but inside of that parentheses, you need to add a potion effect type dot and then I'm just going to type type here but it's going to be whatever the name of it you want oh wow. looks like I got an auto replace there okay and um, then you're going to type in the uh, the length you want it to last I believe this is a uh, millisecond so it's the number of seconds you want the effect to last times 20 I don't know what the upper limit is on that but I, if you want 30 seconds you can type in 600 I find it's a nice round number and finally, you've got the uh, strength of the potion effect. So, uh, right off the bat, I'm going to do invisibility. I don't know if there's different strengths of invisibility, so I don't think it really matters. We'll just do one. But say you want, um, like, power or something like that, you know, to give you more damage, you, you would obviously uh, up that for more damage. Uh, I read that it can go up into the hundreds, like 200s. Uh, but I guess it's not that good when you uh, use it up too high, so I would just keep it down in like, you know, single digits. So we're going to add invisibility here, because that's the one we want. Alright, and we're going to import our potion effect from Bucket. And potion effect type as well. There we go. You can see it's working now with invisibility. I'm going to go ahead and show you all the different kinds we've got here. Absorption, blindness, confusion, damage distance. Uh, we got some new ones like fast digging and stuff like that. Uh, look at all these. There's quite a few. They've, they've added some since I last remember. So we'll test a few of them out. But right off the bat, we're just going to give them invisibility. Boom. There we go. That should um, handle itself pretty well. So we're just going to export like that. Excellent. And I've got the server up. So we're just going to hop in. And there we go. And you can see now that I've logged in, I am totally invisible and I have the invisibility effect for roughly 30 seconds. Alright? Uh, so I'm visible, I can't even tell what perspective I'm in. There we go. So I've got the sword as well and I've got my invisibility effect. So you see, all you had to do was add the uh, potion effect. It's just one line, pretty simple. Uh, we'll do a few more so you can get the hang of it. Go ahead and uh, disconnect you. Okay, so now that we've got the invisibility effect on login, we can just go ahead and copy this. This is one line, nice and easy, and we're going to create a command. So this command is going to give them. And what do we want to do? We're going to give them uh, some night vision. I like night vision. So we're going to call it. Uh, uh, ending for night vision. There you go. And we're going to go ahead and paste that there. And then return true. Perfect. And we're going to have to change this here to, let's see, night vision, I believe. Yep, that'll do it. And we want to give them night vision for, let's say, five minutes. So five times 60, 300 times 26,000. I think something like that, right? Alright, so we're going to try that. That ought to be... They'll just get night vision for however long that is. And uh, the effect should be 1. I don't think there's different levels of night vision. 
So that's pretty easy. Uh, I think that'll cover it actually. Just like that. Alright, we'll give it a shot after we put in the uh, plugin. Why am I here? NB, that's the command, and is the player night vision. Alright, so we've got that all done here. We're gonna go ahead and export it as usual. Uh, there we go. Finish that up. Uh, can I get in the game now? Probably didn't need to leave last time. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, perfect. We're gonna reload. You can see we've got the invisibility effect. Uh, excellent. And we're gonna do NB. You can see, now we've got night vision. Uh, that gave us night vision for five minutes, so it was spot on. Perfect. There you go. It's that simple. You can do it with any of the um, potion effects that you want. You can edit the time, the strength. Uh, you can put multiple ones on at once, as you saw. So, you know, uh, just toy around with it a little bit, and you'll be able to get some pretty uh, neat abilities. Alright, so if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'd be happy to help you out. Have a good one.